Hello everybody once again! Hi guys, uh, Kazuhiko Shinji here. Shout out to you guys who actually know the reference that I just did. <laughs> but yeah, today I'll be doing another question and answer video. Hmm. Before we begin, let's just bring it up, bring it up. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Yes, yes, yes. And there we go, thank you. Now, yeah, without further ado, let's begin with the 10 questions and see what we have. Right. Um, I'm honest. Uh, yes. <laughs> Everything that I've been through thus far, I take it as a learning journey. And if I regret something, I look it as a less. I look at it as a lesson to learn. So I don't necessarily regret most of the things that I've done because um, that when there's something to learn from it, I learn from it, and I try never to repeat the same mistakes again. So I mean, it's not like even if I could, even if I could turn back time and go back to the same, you know, decision making phase again i think i would still want to make that same mistake Please to meet you. um yeah you stick with me i mean like if i don't make that mistake i will never learn right i would have never learned in the first place and yeah, I, I, I just feel like uh, the things that you do, the mistakes that you make, uh, it it changes you or it makes you into the person that you are today. So, yeah, I mean, it you live and you learn. So, if I do something that I regret, I want to see it as something that I can learn from and not something to just regret. Yeah, moving on to the next question. <laughs> oh dear me. Uh, it's been a long time. Actually, maybe not that long, like several weeks ago, I had a mental breakdown, but that's just it, right? It's uh, just a normal thing that happens when you're suffering from mental illnesses and <laughs> yeah, shit just happens. So. But yeah, that's, that's all I have to say about that. Moving on. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. I see you. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna shy back from answering this question just because it's a double-edged knife. But yeah, I, I feel like the, in my opinion, the most difficult question would be the ones that leave you in a hard spot, like. Uh, like it, it brings you into a position that you are super awkward with another person or it causes you to be in an awkward position in with another person if you answer it wrongly or if or if you answer it like you answer it with intent you no know, you might end up like in being in an awkward position with someone else yeah those those kind of questions uh would be extremely difficult for me to answer but yeah that's about it moving on wow i think this was two years ago when it happened if i'm not mistaken yeah 2018 when my ex uh passed on uh took his own life yeah that was rough and 
and I was going through a mental breakdown when I heard the news. It didn't really help. It made the situation even worse. It made the day even worse for me when I heard it. Yeah. But anyways, let's just move on from this depressing question. Next question. Um, yes, I have. I I have had dated a woman, but I don't I I don't feel like the experience turned me homosexual. Homosexuality is just. Uh, preference, right? I mean, I prefer guys, and therefore I fall under the category of homosexual. So it has got nothing to do with me dating a girl in the past, and I was just bi curious back then. So yeah, that's that's all I have to say, really. But as for the experience. It wasn't that good, really. <laughs> I mean, as horrible as I, as horrible as you think it might have been, I honestly, from the bottom of my heart, would say that it wasn't because of the horrible experience that I turned gay. I just have been gay all this time. It's just that I was at one point of time by curious, and yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, next question. How? I don't know, really. I, I've... I can't really remember the first time I sat them down and told them I was gay, but I've spent like several, several years after I came out, I spent several years trying to just make them sit easy into the fact that I am a uh, homosexual, but uh, the only person who isn't really taking it in is my mom and that's about it really. She still feels that I haven't met the right one and she still hopes that, you know, I'm straight but that's not gonna happen. Uh, anyways, <laughs> yeah, moving on to the next question. Um, touch my heart, I've never ever been to a gay bar. I've been to a gay pub, but not a bar. There's two different things altogether. And so I can't really answer the how often part, right? Because I've never been to one. And I don't think I'll ever be to one unless I'm invited, of course. But even if I'm invited, I would see who invites me and if I am comfortable going to a bar with that person. Uh, just about it, really. Yeah, moving on. To the next question. Um, I feel like the next question. Who is the next question? Who is the next question? Who is the I mean, well, uh, if I had to pick, I wouldn't pick. Uh, if I had to pick, I would pick Matsunaga. But honestly, uh, I don't have preference for both of them. <laughs> I yeah, uh, that I I don't feel attracted to either of them. Like, not my type. Not that I, not that I have high standards. It's just that. I mean, 
credit given where credit is due Matsunaga is hot as fuck so Matsunaga for sure uh, yeah that's that's all I have to say really moving on to the next question Now, if I were to be absolutely honest with myself, I would say that at that point of time when they actually revealed uh, who or the people that were gonna get the content creator for Black Desert I felt actually a bit salty in, on the inside because there were a few people that uh, uh, Pearl Abyss mentioned or Black Desert mentioned that didn't had any followers, didn't had any viewers, didn't had any subscribers whatsoever and those some of those people were all like super new like to twitch and some of them didn't even fucking stream so losing the opportunity of content creator to those people kind of gutted me really it, it was like a it, it was like a punch to me la. and i felt insulted in a way so i felt a bit salty uh, i'm not gonna lie about that but whether I get content creator or not is not up to me to decide, right? So I just moved on from it. Uh, really, I, I, there's nothing much I can do about it. Just work harder and hope that you know PA or uh, BDOC decides to give me a chance uh, to be a content creator for a video. So yeah, I've been working my ass off, but yeah. That's, that's all I have to say really. Just hope that I get content creator the next time round. Anyways, moving on to the next question. Uh, I know many of you would be wondering like, oh, if you didn't get um the content creator for um, video why didn't you participate in the arena of uh, Asha I like why didn't you host the arena of Asha you could have gotten a boost in the amount of viewers that you had um, honestly I feel like in order to host a PvP event for the game you need to know the classes that are you know you need to know the skills that they are casting and uh, uh, try and like comment on the, the, the certain decisions or the certain skills that they are using and why they make the decision to use these skills so on and so forth I feel like I'm not um, good when it comes to those kind of things and I have no experience in hosting anything really so there's that right nothing much else to say about why I don't want to do AOA but I just don't really feel like I'm well suited for the job lah, so I didn't uh, I didn't like volunteer for it yeah that's that's all there is but anyways I guess that about sums up the 10 questions I didn't even have to use one skip this time around <laughs> feels bad but yeah that's the house and that's it from me guys uh, yeah if you wanna see the previous question and answer video uh, it should appear to the right I mean left uh, somewhere there but anyways um, thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoy it leave it a thumbs up um, support me follow me on twitch and uh if you guys are feeling generous subscribe to me on twitch my twitch link is in the description below and yeah pm me on discord if you wish to ask anonymous questions my id is in the description below until then see you guys in the next one kazuhiko shinji signing out